Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, want to give all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechah Kodash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites in these last days. Also, want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing and teaching the truth worldwide. And shalom to all you sincere believers. All right. Here with a video, here with a lesson concerning the matter at hand concerning the Shemitic people and that the Shemitic people are truly Israelites. All right. So it truly doesn't make sense for the world, for Esau, Edom, all right, for to label Kanye, you know, Kanye West comments anti because we are a Shemitic people within ourselves, man. OK, Spe speaking of our as in you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans truly being Shemitic and truly being the Hebrew Israelites of the scriptures of the Bible. All right. So it wouldn't make sense to call us or label us anti for the comments or, you know, for those, especially for those that that are even that are, don't even have the knowledge of the Bible. OK, because it's a biblical perspective. OK. So, um, you know, with that, you know, I probably I get right into it concerning, you know, this uh, or what's truly going viral, you know, with, throughout the news, man. And was recently, you know, because of it, because of Kanye's West of, of truly, um, Exposing the so-called white man in this industry and, and exposing the action actions that they do take place, and and that uh, also speaking truth according to the Bible that we are the true Jews, you know. That, and I say we, of course, once again, as you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are scattered worldwide, and the term Jew deriving from the term Judah. All right, Judah being one of the head tribes of the of the twelve tribes of Israel. All right, but. To get to uh to dive into the term of shim, all right, and being sh uh, Shemitic, it's, or you know they also like to say Semitic as well, all right. Just to dive right into it, concerning Genesis chapter five, Genesis chapter five verse thirty two, okay, and it reads, and Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Japhet, all right, and also wanted to grab. Uh, we're gonna grab the meaning of Shem as well. I wanted to grab Shem in the in the Bible in the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. All right, it says Shem, meaning name, second son of Noah and progenitor of the Semitic race, was born ninety eight years before the flood. Because you have to understand the biblical history and the biblical background. All right, people are people are, you know have a. Uh, they're giving their two cents on his comments or whatnot without even having the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. You know, it says, it says, a progenitor of the Semitic race was born 98 years before the flood and lived 600 years, outliving his descendants. Let's go over it, outliving his descendants for nine generations, except Eber and Abraham. All right, so there goes a, the history concerning Shem. All right, and I also want to get the word there, uh, Shem, in Genesis chapter 5, verse 32. And in the Hebrew there is Shem, all right? Like the like the Bible, like the Zonor and Bible Dictionary just mentioned, it means name, all right? Shem, okay? All right, so let me go back, Genesis chapter 5. It's like it. Genesis chapter 5, verse 32, and Noah was 500 years old. And, be, and Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Japheth, all right? And one thing that the world doesn't realize is that the Israelites are not the only nation to come out of Shem, out of that lineage, that is, all right? And I wanted to grab um, from my uh, personal source. Let's see if I can, if I, let's see if I can turn it. Let's see if I can turn it here. Boom. There we go. All right, there we go. The genealogy of Yahweh Shai, whom the world incorrectly calls Jesus. All right, but let's get the the lineage of Shem. All right, so you have Adam and Eve up here, Cain and Abel. All right, and now we're going down to Noah and going into his three sons. All right, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. All right, Ham, 
you know, going into, you know, Kush, Egypt, Put, Canaan. So Hamites are truly your African today, your Africans today. And now going down to Shem, the lineage here. All right. You see a few names and I'm going to go back and forth concerning the uh, the charts of the table of nations concerning the Bible uh, pertaining to the scriptures, you know. So. So concerning Shem. All right. The lineage of Shem. All right. Because we can't truly be anti. We would truly if we, if we, if, to be anti-Semitic. We would be anti our damn self, which doesn't make any sense, man. All right. It doesn't make any sense. Our right. the Hebrew Israelites are Semitic people. We are Semitic, okay? So, you know, it doesn't work, it doesn't, you know, make sense for the world to try to label, you know, our teachings or the comments or whatever the whatever the case may be to be anti Semitic whatsoever. All right, especially if, if one doesn't understand the history and the lineage and the scriptures of the Holy Bible. All right. So this is kind concerning Shem, right? And just to, just as you see the first name there, Elon. And you also see Ashur. All right. That's two. All right. So those two names alone. Let's go to the, the table of nations concerning the Bible. Elam and Ashur. Where do you see that? Number number three and number four. All right. The Indians and you're also your Assyrians. OK. Derived from the lineage of Shem. So they're, Shem, they're Semitic as well. They're Semitic race. All right. And let's let's continue to go over. It says Elam, Ashur. And see what else um the other nations as well. It says Aram. Eber, let's go, it's going down, it's going down. Uh, Abraham, Isaac, all right, because they come from that same lineage. It goes, it, it goes to show that same lineage, all right? So Abraham comes from the lineage of Shem as well. You have Isaac, and what nations come out of Isaac? You got Esau, all right, which we can go over to the chart. Esau, <laughs> all right, the so-called white man, Adawam, Edom, okay, Edom. All right, they're also Semitic people as well. All right, and let's let's continue. It says Abraham, Isaac, and who also comes from Isaac, Jacob, which comes, which then derives from the twelve tribes of Israel. All right, and who also comes from Abraham or Isaac as well, Ishmael. All right, <laughs> and who are the Ishmaelites? Let's get that. Ishmael being number. Look at number six, the Arabs. All right, you got oh, you, so you have. You have number one, Jacob, which the which uh is the progenitor of the Israelites, are the twelve tribes of Israel. You also have Edom, the so called white nations today, also deriving from Shem as well. You also have Elam, the Indians today, that also derive from Shem, the Assyrians and the Syrians, and also the Arabs. That's six nations in itself deriving from Shem that truly could not be anti Semitic. All right. <laughs> But the main point is that we're we're that chosen lineage. That's what that's what that's what makes the Israelites different from any other nations concerning the scriptures, man. That we are the chosen people of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right? That's what sets us apart. Okay. So let me also go to Genesis chapter 9. Also included, you know, including these nations. This is Genesis chapter 9, uh, verse 17. It reads, and, the, and God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant, which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. Because of the, in the time of Noah, there was a great destruction by water through the flood. All right. And these and these and these uh, Noah and his sons were saved. All right. It says in the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah. And of them was the whole earth overspread. All right. So do our ancient genealogies and our, our lineages of all the people of, of all the people of the earth. You either come from Shem, Ham or Japheth. OK. And we just went through uh, six nations in itself that derive from Shem that are, or that are that are a Semitic race and a Semitic people. All right. So I also want to grab, go down. Let me go down within this chapter. This is Genesis chapter nine, verse twenty-six, and he said, "Blessed be the Lord, power of Shem." All right. So the blessing is going to come through the lineage of Shem. All right. It says, "And Canaan shall be his servant, and the Most High shall enlarge Japheth, 
and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. All right. Um, I'll read on with a little bit of the history. It says, verse 28, And Noah lived after the flood 350 years, and all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. So Noah, you know, lived 950 years and lived 350 years after the flood, after the great destruction. You know, so the earth was repopulated. All right. So for, so from there, I'm going to go to Genesis chapter 10, verse 1. This, this is all at the time of the beginning concerning Genesis. It says, Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. See? And they, and they re, like I mentioned, they repopulated the earth. All right? So Genesis is going on. Let's skip on down to verse um, 21. All right? Genesis chapter 10, verse 21. Unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. All right, so you, now you have the lineage tracing concerning Genesis chapter 10, verse 21. Shem, now unto Eber, all right, which is also, it was also uh, labeled on the, uh, here on the genealogy. You see Eber there, okay? Eber, all right, and I also wanted to grab, see if I have it. Um, oh, Eber, let me grab, yeah, let me grab within the blue letter, all right? So this is Eber, Schlocky. Eber truly meaning Ibar in the Hebrew, Ibar. Okay, it says the region beyond. It says son of Selah, great grandson of Shem, father of Peleg and jo and and Jokit and Jokten. All right, it says a Gadite chief. All right, Gad true, uh, being one of the tribes of the twelve tribes of Israel as well, but it says. Eber, it says, the name of two patriarchs and four Israelites, Eber, also Heber, it says, let me go on down, Salaki, let me go back, all right, keeps clicking on stuff, all right, but it says, of the Hebrews, okay, all right, it says, of, of Hebrews, all right, so of this people of deriving from Shem, these other nations that we did name concerning Elam. Let's go. Let's go back to the table of nations, just to just to go back, just to go back, you know, and show. All right, of Eber, that lineage, you know, uh, that derived from Shem as well. You know, they are they are truly Hebrews, man. Okay, Hebrew Edomites. You know. <laughs> All right, so let me um. Uh, let me get back to uh Eber. Let's see what else it says. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Uh mm, I bar. Okay, father, grandson of Shem. Alright. But this is where the term Hebrew, okay, derives from. Alright. This is simply show that as well. I want to see if I can get if it was any more left on this here within a blue letter. Alright. All right, but I want to get the term Hebrew with, and it's going to show from the Adam Online Dictionary, from the Truth of Words, is going to show that they they correspond with each other. All right, so this is a uh, Hebrew, <clears throat> the adjective from the uh, online etymology, the Truth of Words Dictionary. It says Hebrew. All right, it says an Israelite. Okay, we are Hebrew Israelites. Okay, Hebrew being our native our native tongue, our native language. And Israel been our native land. All right. It says an Israelite. Okay. Of course, the, the, the name Yasha Allah, he prince of the power. Okay. Coming from our forefather Jacob. All right. His name was changed to Israel in Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. But it says traditionally from an ancestral ancestral named Eber. Okay. So that's to simply show that the term Hebrew comes comes from Eber. All right, so these nations are they are Hebrews technically, but are they Israelites? No. All right, because they you have to descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. So going back to Genesis chapter 10, verse 21, let's read that again. And unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth the elder, even to him were children born. And going on down, let's see what else. Uh, yep. Genesis chapter 10, verse 31. These are the sons of Shem. After their families, after their tongues, and in their lands, after the nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations, 
and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. So the nations, if you if you're of any nation today, you you um descend, all right, from one of these three that that populated the earth because they're divided. They were divided after the flood, after the destruction. You either come from Ham, Sham, or Japheth. All right, simple as that. Okay, and as being Hebrew Israelites, we de we derive from Shem. Okay, we are Hebrew Israelites. That is, man. So let me also grab, and we must remember that we just read through uh, Genesis chapter nine that that token and that covenant would be all right through the lineage of Shem. All right, but so who would that people truly um just to back up the scripture who would that who would that people be? All right. In today's time that are still relevant today because the scriptures speak about there's no end to all the people. All right. So this is Leviticus chapter 26. Just to get one one example. All right. Leviticus 26. And I'll probably start a few verses up. Leviticus 26 verse 41. And it reads, and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised uncircumcised hearts be humbled and then and they then accept the punishment of their iniquity then will i remember my covenant with jacob all right so so after ex already alluding to and, and explaining that 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 token of that covenant of the lord's covenant of that agreement will come through the lineage of shem who did it who did it matriculate to jacob all right jacob so going back to the to the lineage Let's go through this back to the lineage. So you have um all the way here to Noah, Ham, then of course Shem, and through that lineage, where you have you have the lineage of Abraham now to Abraham, then to Isaac, his son, and who's the son of Isaac? Then you have Jacob, who's who is um now the progenitor of the twelve tribes of Israel. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Naphtali, okay, Gad. Issachar, all right, Manasseh, all right, all the tribes of the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, because Jacob had 12 sons, all right, so back to what the scriptures speak about, uh, Leviticus chapter 26, verse 42, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob, Jacob's name was changed to Israel in Genesis chapter 32, verse 28, once again, it says, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham, will I remember and I will remember the land. So it's about the lineage. All right. We cannot be anti-Semitic. All right. If we do, if we uh, descend, you know, and come from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which makes us truly Israelites according to the Bible. All right. Verse 43. The land also shall be left of them and shall enjoy their Sabbaths while she lieth desolate without them. And they shall accept the punishment of their iniquity because even because they despise my judgment. And because their soul abhorred my statues, which also is explaining, and hey, we as Israelites, and through all our, through all through all our history, we we constantly were rebellious and a stiff necked people and a hard headed you know nation, all right, because we continue to uh, disobey our power in Yahweh by Shem Shai, which is the reason that you that the so called white man the Edomites are are even in rulership over us in these in these times we're living in right now, all right, it's because we are disobedient to our power. That's why. All right. It's more so our punishment than their, you know, than their benefit. OK, verse 44. And yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away. Neither will I abhor them to destroy them utterly and to break my covenant with them. For I am the Lord, their power. See, he said, I am the Lord, their God. All right. The God of who? The Israelites only, man. All right. He says that he would not forget about the covenant he has made with through that lineage of Shem. All right, because we we are that chosen lineage that comes from you know come coming from Shem. All right, through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, now which we now have the twelve tribes of Israel. That's why Kanye West continues to mention it, man. All right, and he's not wrong. Verse forty five. But I will, for their sake, remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I have brought, so like it, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt, in the sight of the heathen. Who were the heathens, man? Those damn, those damn Africans, man. Okay. It says, "Whom I have brought forth out of the land of the of Egypt, in the sight of the of the heathen, Pharaoh and those Africans, that I might be their power, 
I am the Lord. And who was delivered all right, out of the wilderness? Who's, who, who was the Red Sea split for? The Israelites. Okay. Verse 46. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. It's all it all bring it all comes together. All right. It all bring the lineage, the history, the words, okay, the scriptures. It all comes together that going back and bringing it and bringing an understanding whole concerning the children of Israel. That we we did we descend from the, the lineage of Shem. We are the chosen people. All right, we have a covenant with the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh All right, and that these prophecies are about to be fulfilled in these last days. All right, because of the because of the covenant. All right, because of the agreement with the Lord, and the, and to show that He's our power in the sight of the heathen, the heathen being um, these nations, all the all these other nations outside of the Israelites. They're heathens, man. You are outside the temple. Okay. And to get the uh, Old Testament, New Testament, you know, uh, correlation going, this is Romans chapter 9, verse 4. You know, if there is any confusion, this is Romans chapter 9, verse 4. Who are Israelites to whom pertain of the adoption because we are adopted back to the Lord due to our Savior, Yahweh Shai, whom the world incorrectly calls Jesus. All right. We are adopted back to the Lord. All right. It says in the glory. All right. Because we are promised. We are guaranteed through prophecy, through Bible prophecy, to receive the kingdom of heaven. All right. That is already prepared and predestined and preordained for the Israelites, for you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans who are scattered worldwide. The kingdom, kingdom of heaven is for you. Repentance is for you. Mercy and grace is for you. All right. Seek the Lord while he may be found, man. And why before it's too late. It says in the covenants, the agreements, all right, that the Lord made with the children of Israel, with Abraham, with Isaac, and with also Jacob. It says in the giving of the law, by who? By the hands of Moses, man. Moses delivered the law unto the Israelites. And you can read that pertaining to the scripture of Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 44. It's in the, in the service of the Most High and the promises, all right? The Lord promised all these things to the Israelites only. All right. And what's another promise that these heathen nations are going into slavery under the dominion and, and rulership of Yahweh by Shem Shai and the Israelites? Simple as that. OK, so we cannot in conclusion, in summary, we cannot be anti our damn self, man, anti our history, anti our, anti our lineage. All right. For those that may not have the true understanding of Shem. The true understanding of the Hebrew Israelites, the true understanding of these words and the history and the background, the lineage, the genealogies, the scriptures. OK, we cannot be anti because we are Hebrew Israelites are truly Semitic. We are a Semitic and Semitic people, man. All right. And Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying and proving that fact. All right. Improving that history, improving that scripturally, improving that biblically through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai and also it was encouraging to you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans, man. All right, for you to repent because Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. So with that, I will end off by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, and Shalom, keep the faith, Shalom.